All right, so how's it going? Today we're going to talk about this uh, little program here called Plug Search. It is for Logic Pro users. It's a really cool um, piece of software that you just install and you're good to go. You just start up the program and when you're in Logic, you can find your plugins really, really quick. You just come over here, you hit control on your Mac and then you have all your plugins here. You can search for them. So I want this one, the vocals, and then it just pops that up for you. It saves a lot of time searching for plugins, especially when you have a lot of them. And if you want to find it by brand, you can type in the capital letters, like there's Native Instruments plugins that I have. You just do a capital shift, uh, whatever. Native Instruments, for example, or you can do, you know, whatever companies you have, Apple Guitar and such. So really cool, some other really cool quick and other features, you can do a question mark, which is kind of cool because then you get a random plugin. And then this is going to roll up a random instruments, a random instrument for you. In this case, it was the contact. And then you could just have a, a random instrument open if you're lost for inspiration or something. So that's pretty cool. So there is a really quick way to set up for the Logic plugins. I made this mistake when I first got it, like originally, like because all the Apple plugins weren't loading correctly, so I made this mistake. If you come over here, type your EXS24 or whatever. Of course, I'm in the wrong place. Here you go, the instruments. So if I'm in the EXS24, for example, it was loading the wrong plugins. So what you want to do is you want to go into your plugin manager, you just create a new category, and then name it Plug Search, and then you. Draw I'll show you real quick. Let's do that real quick. So you go to your Plugin Manager. Go over here, create a new category, which I already did, and there's Plug Search, and then you want to go down here to the list of, for Apple, and you want to drag in all your Logic plugins into that folder, and that's how. That's all you got to do, pretty much, to set it up. Everything else just works the way it normally does. Close that out, and you can remove plugins as well. There's a mono stereo plugin set up as well. Really quick and easy to use. Basically, it's just a, a plugin, not even a plugin, it's just a software that you just have up here. You can have it start up when you start up your computer, or you can just start it before you start Logic. And you have your preferences. And there's a couple different pre preferences here. Start at startup. I don't have that turned on. But, and then it's really cheap too. So I'll put a link down in the video description below. It's a really cool plugin, really saves a lot of time on Logic. I'm not sure why they don't have something like this now already, because you know this way of doing it is it takes forever if you're searching for especially when you have a lot of plugins, it's like crazy. But anyways, that is all for today. Please do subscribe to the channel. I will talk to you soon.